Hello everyone, we're back, Mikey Kung Pao. Well, that's a little bit distracting. Let me give it to that music. Okay, we're back today. Talk a little bit more about Jody Arias. And like I promised you before, I'm going to talk to you today about fact for dummies. All these stupid questions I get like, Hey, what about happening to innocent until proven guilty? How come you talking Jody Arias guilty? Trial not over. Okay, so we're going to talk about some of those. First for a second, just a quick update. No court today, Jody's sick. Yeah, we don't know why. We hear she have a migraine or something. I think it's gonna be some kind of a scam because this new uh, witness, this vile rat lady, uh, we're talking about all the kind of abuse that abusers do. And um, I think maybe Jody gonna say, oh, hearing all about that abuse pushed them old buttons, made me sick because I think about Travis not giving me nice candy, not want to marry me. Tell me I look like used toilet paper after having sex and all that kind of thing. So anyway, we'll talk about that a little bit. Get the Jerry, uh, scary Jody face off there. Okay, so I just want to show you a couple of things. First thing I want to show you, I want you to watch when they switch over from one witness to the other. I want you to watch what Jody arm doing. Look like she's flexing it for stabbing or something. Watch very, very close down in this corner down here. I want you to see this down here. Watch. Okay, here we go. We start this up. Let's see what happening. Look at that. Flex. Frex. 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 All in a rhythm. Frex. She keep doing that over and over. Kind of scary, I think. Uh, I don't know what she's thinking there. Okay. Uh, I don't know what she's doing there. Um, look a little bit like... Yeah, well, I'm not going to say. Okay. Anyway, what else does she do? Um, let's go up a little bit to this one. Okay, there's Samuels. He sit around the whole time waiting for the other witness to come in. He wanting Jody to like look at him and pay attention to him. But she done with him. She don't care about him no more. Uh, he not a useful idiot. His uh, use is done now. Okay, let's move on. See what's happening here. Okay, I think um, Juan Martinez and uh, Flores talking to each other going, how are you going to stay awake today? Did you bring your no-dos with you? I need some of that no-dos and a big tub of... Hey, that big nermy going by again. Okay, not going to make no fat joke today. Um, so anyway, if we watch Jody for a minute, and we watch what happened with uh, the other guy, Sam Urls, it, it looked like he's saying to himself, you know, how come that Jody don't look over here at all? Look like she's mad and everything now. Waiting for the other person. All right, now, we got a new witness today. Let's see where she come in. Um, here she is. Here's the new witness coming. And she's talking to... Uh, Nami talking to Sammy. He go away. He don't get a date with Jody. Too bad. Okay. And the BFF and everything still talking. And then uh, something happened which was um, very disgusting to me. It kind of freaked me out. I'm going to show you. We get way up here. She's getting sworn in and then... Watch what happened when she sit down in the jury. Testimony. Okay. See, she take. Uh oh. What? A clean cup. She was gonna drink at the Samuel's cup. Ah, that make me really gross out today. Okay. Anyway, so luckily she got saved by the judge just in time. Judge say, hey, that Samuel's cup. Don't want to drink out of that one, huh? Okay. Anyway, I think the judge a little disgusted thinking about it herself. All right. Get rid of that. Oh, what this thing? So, uh, some big people are here. I don't want to talk about them for a moment, uh, but I think I want to say one thing. Uh, oh, I wasn't going to say nothing about weight today, but there's some pervert part of me, perverted part of me, okay? Some warped part of my brain that uh, just thinking about one thing, I can't get loose in my, my, my brain, and that is I would like to see the new um, expert come understand that vile rat and this Nurmi guy go out to runch. And what I would like to see is, I would like to see them go to runch in this car right here. Okay? That one. Smart car. I don't know what's wrong with me, but you know, it's just something I think about. Okay, anyway, um, this witness today, um, she looked pretty nice, a nice grandmotherly type and everything. Talk about all of the abusive people she deal with, mostly all men actually. And, you know, punching their fists through walls and beating up their women, putting bruises and broken bones on them. And, and some of them are murdering types. And, you know, uh, when I was listening to her, I think to myself, uh, 
Is she a witness for the defense? Because, you know, these, this is the kind of thing that Jody was, not Travis. Okay, in spite of Jody's rise about him, it was Jody the one that was doing all the stalking and all the spying and all the possessiveness and the, the jealous rage and, and buttonholing other women and telling, threatening them and harassing. And she was tire thrashing a new girlfriend, Carr, and Travis Carr, and, you know, sneaking into houses and intimidating. This was Jody's behavior. You know, Jody the one that uh, she was kicking dogs earlier in her life and kicking her mother and everything. Seemed like Jody the one that this lady talking about, not Travis. So I don't know if this is going to backfire on them or not. But anyway, we're going to go on and talk about our main topic today, which is a stupid question of fact. Okay, so we're back now. And uh, name of this video, like we say, question for dummies, fact for dummies. These are all the ones that they send me on the internet and comments on the YouTube and everything. And, uh, you know, when I have a little daughter, when she would make three or four years old, she used to say that people that were, like, really dummies and everything, she called them poopy heads, okay? So I'm not going to act like three or four years old, but if you keep sending me these stupid questions or sending me these stupid comments, I'm going to call you a poopy head, okay? Anyway, the first one. Um, Jody is young and might have some good in her, so shouldn't we give her a break and a, a right sentence so she get out and do some good with her life, okay? Hmm. Jody have some good in her. Do Jody have some good in her? Um, no. Okay? She don't have no good in her. Let me explain something to you. A psychological concept, which most of you know already. All the people with two brain cells you can rub together. Okay? Jody a a sociopath. And I'm going to make it clear to you. That word get thrown around all the time. I'm going to explain to you very clearly what it is, though. Sociopaths have no empathy, no conscience, no love for anyone but themselves, no real feeling, no human emotion for anybody. Here, how I'm going to explain it to you, okay? Do you see this box here? Frosted mini wheat, okay? Uh, not exactly diet food, but, you know, it's pretty good for you. Not too bad. Anyway, let's look in there for a minute. What we got in there? Okay, the frosted mini wheat. Okay, they, they got a, a beautiful little sugary coating on them, you know. When I was a kid, uh, they gave me um, uh, wheats like this, this mini wheats thing, or big wheats, you know. And they didn't have the sugar on there. I had to put it on myself. It was tough back then, I just want you to know. Anyway, you know, we had these big dial phones and everything, you know. No screen on them, no apps, no GPS, no music, no video, no nothing. You know, just a big dial phone that you had to do. And it sit on the wall on a table. And all it would do would call someone else. You know, no email on it. Uh, no voicemail on it even. Anyway, those are very old days. Show you how old I am. Anyway, this box of mini wheat here. If you think about this as a person for a minute, okay? The box on the outside, this nice looking box. That like the person body, okay? And inside it, all the good things. Now, some people have more mini wheat inside than other. But if we think about all the little goody inside as being things like love and consideration and caring and a genuine human emotion, empathy for others, all those kind of things, you know, um, that would be like what the box have in it. When you should get it, it nice and full, you know. Some people have a fuller box than others. Maybe some people only be up to here, others be up to here, okay. But they all have some, okay, with a sociopath, okay. Here what we have. We have the same looking box, but it empty. There's nothing in there. There's no real human emotion in there, okay. There's no love for anybody in there except themselves. There's no uh, empathy for anyone except themselves. There's no conscience. There's no remorse if they do wrong. There's none of those things, okay? That a sociopath, just so you know. Look at the box. Nothing in there, okay? And if there's one or two little tiny grain of, of mini wheat still down in there, that's just love for themselves, nothing else. Okay, so now you understand what a sociopath is. All right, let's move on. So I don't want to hear that, that question no more, okay? That Jody have some good in her. No good in her, nothing but a sociopath. We're going to do another video uh, another time on all the evil thing that we know about Jody. So don't even write me and say, oh, you don't know if she's a sociopath. I know perfectly where she is, okay? And I know why. Okay, I'm going to move this a little closer 
Yeah, because you're too far away from me, I can't see you all. My eye not so good like it used to be. All right. All right, now here's the big one, okay? Just the one, everybody thinks they're so clever when they say this. Now, I'm not talking to the 95% of you who make good comment on YouTube and send me nice emails and so you like the video and, and you agree that Jodi Araya is guilty and she needs to pay for her crimes, okay? That what almost everybody out there have a brain in their head, not a vacuum between their ear, okay? But there, there's just a few of you a mental patients out there who think you're so clever and you send me this question and you say, Oh, what happened to innocent until proven guilty? You know, what about that? Okay, and uh, it, you know, I've heard this about like eight million times in this kind of trial. Okay, this is like the kind of question like a high school sophomore asked their teacher and think they're so clever getting one over on the teacher asking that question or something like that, okay? But, so you get all puffed up, oh, all puffed up. Hey, I got you now. What about innocent until proven guilty? Okay, okay, let me explain something to you. Innocent until proven guilty is a, a concept that have to do with regal status, okay? Not with reality or truth. I can explain it as clearly to as I can, all right? This is like this. It don't have to do with whether she do the crime, okay? Innocent till proven guilty mean that in the eyes of the justice system and the law, she a innocent until a jury trial over and a verdict be in. Now, how hard is that to understand? I talk slowly to you, okay? But have nothing to do if she actually guilty or not. We all know she guilty, all of us that have a brain in our head, and we can say she guilty, okay? It only have to do with whether she's sentenced or not yet. Or actually, a, a verdict or not yet, I should say. Now. I know you're still going to want to argue with me because you've got the stubborn little pea brain about that big. So I'm going to give an analogy to you, okay? It like this, okay? Suppose someone break into your house and they hold you at gunpoint and they beat you and they beat your family and they trash your house. They steal everything valuable in there, okay? And uh, to top it off, they leave a giant pile of doggy poo in the middle of your living room, okay? Okay, now they take off in their car. You see the, the license plate and everything. And... Uh, and the police catch them, right? And they say to the police, oh, I'm gonna plead not guilty because uh, that guy was a bad neighbor. He mean and abusive to me and say bad word to me and everything. So that's why I went over and did all that, okay? So he plead not guilty, all right? Now, the his legal status is not guilty until the at trial and until he uh, convicted with a verdict. But let me ask you, you gonna say that person innocent? You're not gonna say that. Don't lie to me and say you're gonna say that. You're gonna say that guy is guilty of sin. Look all the stuff he did to me. Don't matter whether he had a trial yet or not. He's guilty, okay? That's the reality. That's the truth. And that's what we have to hear when we talk about Jody Araya, okay? All right. Hey, let me ask you one more thing. Do you think O.J. Simpson guilty of stabbing uh, uh, Ron Gordon and Nicole? I think he guilty, don't you? Uh, he got off, didn't he? In the eyes of the raw, he's not guilty. But in the eye of all of us, he is guilty. In the eye of God, he guilty. Certainly in the eye of everyone who know what he did, he guilty. Okay, so how about Casey Anthony? Oh, she'd be found not guilty. Is she guilty? We know she guilty. But there won't enough evidence to convict her, okay? Because she killed her baby, but they don't know how she do it. They have no, no means, they have no physical evidence, they don't know what the means of death was, so Joey had to let her go. Okay, that don't mean she's not guilty. All the circumstance and every way she acts means she he is guilty. Okay, anyway, you people who ask the kind of question remind me of a bobblehead doll, you know. That's just like a wooden head. Okay, next stupid question. Why you speak with a funny Asian accent? What are you talking about? Run good English, you don't understand me, okay? Got a question with that. All right, next stupid question. There must have been someone else helping Jody. I see a reflection of two ninjas in Travis' eye in the photo, him in the shower. And who are those people that are in that reflection? And, he, and she can't do all the stabbing that fast anyway. She can't drag Travis back to the shower. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, first of all, okay, refraction in Travis' eye is interesting, okay? 
but you see whatever you want. It's like looking into the crowds, okay? You can see all kind of different things, and oh, I see a horse, and I see this, and I see that. Okay, same like looking on, on the surface of Mars. People say, oh, I saw the face on Mars. Must be an alien civilization there. Then you see a better photo from NASA, and it's just a hill. Don't look like anything at all. Anyway, just uh, the thing. Jody had plenty of time and plenty of energy and plenty of psychopathic adrenaline pumping through her vein to do that crime and drag Travis in the one minute and 15 or 20 second between them photos, okay? I timed it myself, and in a future video, I'm going to prove this to you. And the other people on the internet already did, okay? Very easy. Took me 45 seconds to recreate the whole thing, do all the stabbing, do the dragging of the Travis back and all that stuff. Uh, he went back in the bathroom yet when the second photo be taken. Okay, he was just in the, in the, by the baseboard still. Uh, not back in the bathroom, not in the shower. All right, anyway. Next stupid question. Just the one that really, really irritate and annoy me. Hopefully it irritate and annoy everyone out there with working brain also. This is a whole batch of kind of question and it blame, blame Travis, blame the victim type questions like this, okay. Travis wasn't nice to Jody, so he had it coming. Travis said something Jody sounded like, call her a name, you know, call her a thread and a free whole wonder, and, you know, oh, one less jock in the world, you know. Uh, Travis went dirty sec with Jody. She sounded like a 12 year old having an orgasm, he said. So he must be a pervert and everything. Never mind, you know, it was like Jody fantasy. She didn't want to call him. She didn't want to say, oh, uh, you like my pigtail, Travis? You know, she's the one that was goading him all the time with this stuff. Anyway. Oh, what about Travis reading a double rhyme, not doing his Mormon beliefs and his Mormon morals? You know, he a hypocrite. He just, he just a secret hypocrite. Okay, all these questions come from brain dead poopy heads, okay? And here what I'm going to explain to you. These people don't understand the difference between an ant and an aardvark. By the way, what is an aardvark? I never see one. But anyway, uh, I heard that expression before, so I use it. Okay. But I'm going to explain to you why the brain the victim question so stupid, you know. Okay. I want you to look first, and we're going to use something again here, a little visual aid, to picture the evil that Travis do. Okay? See that right there? That an ant. Actually, I got a better, I got a better picture right here. See that right there? That an ant hill. Okay? That little ant hill, it, it about, about two inches high, about the size of an Asian man's, um, I mean, about the size of a, you know, the end of a little Asian man peaky. What do you think I was going to say? Anyway, okay, okay. Let's say that little ant hill represent all the bad things which uh, Travis do. What be those things? What are his crimes and what are his sins? Okay, he don't want to marry psychopath Jody. I don't blame him, do you? Okay, so he call her names. He call her a psycho sometime. He call her a threat. Maybe he, re maybe he around her back in his life all the time. Maybe he not want to. Okay, anyway, he don't respect her. He'd be disrespectful. Uh, he wants to still have dirty sex with her. Actually, she's the one forcing him. But anyway, none of this is a crime. So we call that the little ant hill. Okay, he had fornication and everything. Okay, what did that? That's not a crime. So that's the ant hill of his sins. Now, I want to show you something. Compared to that ant hill, this Jody Arias crime right here, this Mount Everest, okay? Mount Everest in the Himalayas. Do you know how big the Himalayas are? Okay, this Mount Everest, this thing here, this Jody crimes, okay? Now, Mount Everest about, I don't know, 25,000 feet high, something like that. And uh, 29,000, I just look at my note, it's like a mile and a half high, okay? Um, and the ant hill two inches high, okay? Uh, so, Anyway, you compute it for yourself if you want. Uh, Mount Everest, 130,000 times bigger than an ant hill. All right, so what a Jody crime to equal Mount Everest, okay? Well, think about all she did. She was a stalker. I told you before, we just talked earlier in the video, all the things she do, harassing him, stalking him, jealousy, possessiveness, tire thrashing, running off new girlfriend, doing everything in her power to be a jealous, raging bitch, okay? And then finally, to top it all off, a bunch of premeditation, when she see he's gonna go to Cancun, she premeditate a murder. We're gonna talk about that in a future video. We're gonna talk about all the premeditation. In just one video, we're gonna show you. It'll be a short one, but it will have all the main things she do. Prove that she's guilty of first degree. Anyway, 
She'd do all this thing. Then she stabbed him 29 times, shoot him in the head, thrash his throat from ear to ear with a big knife like this. That is Mount Everest right there. That Jody crime and that little anthill of what Travis do is a little grain of sand down here someplace you can't even see it. It's tiny, like a little grain of sand, okay? So that's what your brain is like, a little grain of sand, compared to Mount Everest, if you think he had it coming and Jody should get right sentence because, you know, oh, but Travis was a hypocrite and did sex. Okay, that's one of the stupidest arguments I ever hear. All right, so what else? Did we go through the whole wrist? I had a whole wrist here about what Jody do. I'll put that aside. Can we talk about it in another video? All right, anyway, next stupid question. Why you write the prosecutor? You know that Juan Martinez, he just mean and he wave his arm around like this all the time. He throw his pen, he yell and badger at the witness. You know, it's like he not focused. He talking about uh, silly little detail like you didn't do this and you didn't do that. And hey, don't you remember what you said five minutes ago? And you got a problem with your memory and on and on and that. But okay, so you say, hey, why you like that Juan Martinez? Okay, you know, he a bad guy. He not being professional. Okay, this is what I say to you. First of all, I agree with you that if I were the prosecutor, I would handle it a little bit differently. Maybe I save some of my wrath and dissension for the most dramatic moments, showing Jody's biggest rise, and uh, you know, maybe for the summation, and maybe nailing guy like Samuels at just the right time, and all that kind of thing. You know, maybe I dwell more on the big picture and not all the little details. But hear what I say to you, Juan Martinez doing a great job of exposing all of Jody's rise, exposing her premeditation, exposing all her cover-up, completely destroying all her defense witnesses which have backfired on her, making a guy like Samuel look like the booby head that he is, and a fraud, and a very poor psychologist if he don't even know that the Jody he have the hearts for a sociopath. Okay, so, uh, in all in all, okay, he going to sum this all up at some point, and I think he going to get a conviction. Maybe he get one hold out in the jury, and they get a hung jury. Then I'm going to stick a fork in my eye if that happened. But he's certainly not going to be no acquittal here. He have done a very good job. And all his passion, you people say, oh, he praying to the camera and everything. He's not praying to no camera. Watch him close. That is real anger on his face. That is real emotion. He have passion. And the reason he have passion is because he can't stand that Jody Araya because he know what a sociopathic Raya she is and he don't want her to get away with it. He believe in what he is saying. So that my defense of Juan Martinez. Beside, he have a very good track record. And beside all that, you gonna get up and do his job? I don't think one of you people criticize him could do his job for 10 seconds. In fact, I think he know more about the law and how to do it in the tip of his little finger in the middle of the night when he's sleeping than you do in your whole lifetime. So don't send me no more of that Juan Martinez criticism stuff. Don't want to hear. All right, how about this? Uh, we only got one or two more. We're almost done, okay. This the one I, I see all the time, of course. I have a little bit more sympathy for this one. Oh, I don't like the death penalty. It is wrong to ever cure anyone. Okay, we're going to devote a whole video to this topic because it's a serious topic. Of course, I give it my own little comedic spin, but that called Garrow's humor, not because I think it's funny, okay? For any of you who have, you know, a little bit of comedic sense and, you know, don't take everything serious like, you know, a very tight sphincter like uh, the Department of Motor Vehicle employee or something. Anyway. I have a little bit of sympathy for that point of view, but hear what I say. I say, sometime in society, you've got to cut the cancer out if the patient going to survive. Okay. We go more into that in the future. Last stupid question. Are you gay? Are you really an Asian? I don't like your accent. Blah, 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 blah. Do I look gay to you? Okay. Look, I love women. Okay. I love all women except Jody. Okay. How's that? First of all, not that I'm criticizing anybody else. For all your other complaints, okay, here's what I have for you. I have an Asian Simba, okay, that I want to explain. See this? You people who say all them other things to me, all them criticism, this Asian symbol stands for something. Let me tell you what it stands for. Some of my British Isle friends send me this and tell me what it stands for. So I can translate. 
It stands for this. This is the English translation. Bugger off. Okay? It's not what I say to anybody who keep telling me that they don't like my accent and everything. For all the rest of you who've been very, very supportive and like my video and everything, I'm going to make some more. I'm not going to let these uh, pea brain people uh, stop me because, you know, they're like 2% uh, of the population, okay? And they're the lowest 1% of the intelligence level of uh, the uh, society that we have out here. Okay, so in the meantime, everybody, we'll see you next time. Uh, I'm going to do a video next time called Jody Favorite Movie, okay? And we do that pretty soon. And uh, until then, don't go with no psychopath.